Hi everyone. So today we are going to learn the next part which is nothing but the third part. So how to connect inductors in series connection and parallel connection. So let us take an inductor L1 and inductor L2. So what is L equivalent for this? Okay. So inductor and resistor behavior is same. So how to write down this L equivalent? So when you are writing this L equivalent, you can write down the inductance in AC form. Okay. So here this is in DC form, which is nothing but L1 entry. This is nothing but also in entry. When you write down in AC form, this can be written as a plus J x l ohms this can be write down x l1 ohms this can be written as plus j x l2 ohms so xl can be written as xl is equal to 2 pi f l1 ohms and this can be written as plus j into 2 pi f l2 ohms so where this 2 pi f can be called as a omega angular frequency so therefore i can write down this as a j into omega l1 ohms and this i can write down it as a plus j into omega l2 ohms so now you see here this is in ohms and this is also in ohms so now i have an inductor in this format i want to find out the L equivalent um, between these two inductors. Therefore, the L equivalent I can add on it as a. So now this is like a resistor and this is also like a resistor. When you have two resistors connected in series, we have the formula R1 plus R2. Similarly, the L equivalent we can add on it as a plus J omega L1 plus J omega L2. So this is in ohms and this also is in ohms. I am taking omega as common. It is nothing but plus j omega as common L1 plus L2. Here also we have j omega L equivalent. j omega, j omega get cancelled out. Therefore, L equivalent when two inductors are connected in series, we have the formula L equivalent is equal to L1 plus L2 which is of a similar behavior of an resistors which are connected in series where R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2. So similarly, now one more configuration. If you have two inductors are connected in parallel, two inductors connected in pair. So label this inductor as L1, label this inductor as L2. So I want to find out L equivalent. Same formula you apply. You express this in the form of a plus J omega L1 ohms plus J omega L2 ohms. Two resistors are in parallel. So how to write down the resultant? So you can write down the resultant 1 by plus j omega l equivalent is equal to 1 by j omega l1 plus 1 by j omega l2. So when you simplify this equation by taking j omega as common, after simplifying the equation then you will get l equivalent is equal to, you are going to get product of l1 into l2 product of two resistors divided by L1 plus L2. So this is the formula what we need to employ when two inductors are connected in parallel. So this is also similar to the formula when two resistors are connected in parallel which is the product of resistance R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So now we are clear about, uh, about the behavior of an inductor. So Similarly, we will try to experience about capacitor. Now, let us try to do a problem on inductors. What is the behavior of the inductors when they are connected in series? Let us try to have an problem. So, numerical one. So, see that a circuit is given to us like this. 
circuit is given to us like this one resistor is there and you have two inductors is in parallel and you have one more inductor like this so this mode is x and this mode is y and this is of 2 henry and this is of 4 henry and this is also of 4 henry and this is also of 1 henry now he is asking us to find out what is L equivalent is the given question. We need to find out the equivalent of these two inductors. Sir, how to imply? See that these two inductors are in series connection. Two and four one are in series connection and four and four are in parallel connection. So I am going to draw this equivalent for this. So a two Henry and I am going to get one equivalent inductor like this and one more inductor which is already present here. If you want to understand the mark as a node from A and node B. Between A as well as B we are going to have the value. So already in the given problem this is given as a 2 Henry and the given problem is also given as 1 Henry. We need to find out this unknown value where this unknown value is. So 4 into 4 divided by so two inductors connected in parallel product of inductance by sum of inductance product is 4 into 4 divided by 4 plus 4 you can see that this is 16 by h so 2 so here you are also going to get 2 entry and again i can say that uh, the current flowing in all these three inductance is same i can say the three inductors are connected in series so when three inductors are connected in series, you are going to get one inductor. For the formula of L equivalent, if two inductors connected in series, L1 plus L2 plus L3. So that implies 2 Henry plus 2 Henry plus 1 Henry, which is nothing but uh, you are going to get 5 Henry. So this is the answer 5 Henry connected between the terminals X and Y. So this is the answer how to solve the problems on inductance. Let's try to go straight forward similar to the capacitance. Now the half of the part we completed in inductance. Now let's try to discuss uh, how to solve the problems related with the uh, capacitance. So generally we can write down capacitance uh, in farads in DC quantity. If you want to express them in AC quantity, you have to write down it as uh, minus J x c ohms where minus j x c ohms you can write it as a x c can be written as minus 1 by omega c ohms okay this is what the format of writing in ac quantity so let's directly go to how to understand inductance for example uh, you have two capacitors connected in series connection we need to find out c equivalent of this which is c1 and c2 which are the units of a farads this will be reversed to that of an inductor behavior so when you convert this we are going to get a minus j xc ohms which is nothing but minus j by omega c1 ohms this is minus j by omega c2 ohms so now we these are in ohms just find out uh, equivalent so when they are in ohms what you are going to get so the resultant you are going to get as a minus j divided by omega c1 ohms minus j divided by omega c1 sorry c2 ohms these are in ohms you take it common and we are going to get uh, the resultant resistance so after converting we are going to get the C equivalent as so after equal conversion so take omega is common and you can find out this will get cancelled out and you are going to get a C equivalent similar to that of an inductor so here you can see these two are connected in series so I am going to get C equal I mean 1 by C equivalent is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 or if you want to write down C equivalent is equal to 
product of capacitances divided by the sum of capacitances which is the formula similar that of to an resistor but in opposite so here they are connected in series connection here you will get the formula of resistors in parallel connection this is only the difference so after uh, so please find time how to simplify this network and how to express this and here also you will be getting minus j divided by omega c equivalent okay so this is also in ohms so this is all in ohms you simplify it you will be getting this equation similarly you see here just if you take omega as common and j as common this will cancel out this will cancel out this will cancel out okay so and you are going to get the result and uh, which is nothing but 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 similarly you bring it find out c equivalent this is how to find out uh, two capacitors are connected in the same procedure we are going to repeat uh, when you have two capacitors when they are connected in parallel so i have two capacitors they are connected in parallel you have to find out the c equivalent so this is in c1 farads this is in c2 farads so when they are in parallel the formula you are going to get uh, like this so let's try to convert this is capacitor 1 this is capacitor 2 and we want to find out the c equivalent the same formula you can apply so this i'm going to write it as a minus j xl which is nothing but minus j by omega cl 1 ohms minus j by omega c2 ohms so therefore you can see here this is like uh, two resistors connected in parallel i'm going to get uh, the value of capacitance okay so when these two are in parallel how we are going to get so product minus j divided by omega c1 ohms multiplied with minus j divided by omega c2 ohms product of resistance divided by the sum of resistance sum is nothing but how much minus j divided by omega c1 plus minus j divided by omega c2 and here we need to find out uh, the capacitance this capacitance is minus j divided by omega c equivalent i'm writing directly in ohms okay so this nothing but ohms this nothing but product of resistance divided by sum of resistance all are in ohms if you simplify it by segregating omega to be cancelled then you are going to get the formula of 1 by c equivalent is equal to 1 by you are going to get the value of c equivalent as well as the values of 1 by c equivalent and c equivalent therefore when you have two capacitors connected in parallel then you are going to get the result and as c1 plus c2 so this is the formula of c equivalent when two capacitors are connected in parallel so similarly the formula for c equivalent when two capacitors are connected in a series connection is 1 by c equivalent is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 or when they are connected in series you are going to get c equivalent is equal to product of capacitances by c1 plus c2 so this is the formula for capacitance when they are connected in series connection this is the formula of capacitance when they are connected in parallel this is similar to that of an behavior of an reverse behavior of an resistor on inductors so but generally if you want to comparison also i can do you the comparison So similarly if you have an resistance which are connected in parallel so i'm going to get the formula r equivalent so if we have two resistors in formula what is the formula we're going to get product of r1 plus r1 into r2 divided by the sum of resistance r1 plus r2 so when two resistors are in series what is the formula we're going to get r equivalent is equal to r1 plus r2 so similar behavior will also be exhibited by inductor also. 
so inductor also will have when they are connected in parallel they are going to get l1 l2 product by sum when they are connected in series l1 plus l2 so remember inductor and capacitor same behavior so the reverse behavior will be exhibited by the capacitor let us try to solve a problem on capacitance so numerical to on capacitances so a circuit is given like this so we have one capacitor here we have one more capacitor here one more capacitor here and one isolated capacitor here and one isolated capacitor here as this is x and this is y and this already given in two microfarad this is of also 2 microfarad this is also 2 microfarad and this is 1 microfarad so this is the problem given to us we need to find out what is the problem given is find the C equivalent between the two capacitors so how to find out first let's try to solve the problem you see here these two are connected in series connection okay and these two are connected in parallel connection let's try to solve it step by step so i'm marking this as x and i'm going to have single capacitor like this with respect to these two i'm drawing a one capacitor and i have the resultant capacitor as shown in the diagram as y so this value is already one microfarad this value is already known to us 2 microfarad you can say these two are connected in parallel when these two are connected in parallel sorry these two are connected in series for the formula we are going to have 1 by c equivalent is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 so when you are going to solve it you are going to get the c equivalent of these two capacitors you are going to get it as a 1 so now this is a 1 microfarad and here you can see here now I am simplifying these two and you can see that these two capacitors are connected in parallel connection when they are in parallel connection what to do now so this nothing but C equivalent is equal to so they are in parallel this nothing but 1 plus 2 is nothing but you are going to get 3 microfarad already here it is connected between one more microfarad one microfarad so now you see here so we need to find out the c equivalent again the c equivalent like this so coming to the concept here so c equivalent is equal to now they are connected in series what is the formula for capacitor when they are connected in series so i can write down as 1 by c equivalent is equal to 1 by 3 microfarad plus 1 by 1 microfarad so solve it we are going to get the c equivalent as 0 0.75 microfarad is the resultant capacitor what is the answer asked okay. so hope you are clear that the resistor and inductor has one kind of behavior capacitor has the reverse behavior so here whatever are acting as a series connection here will act as a parallel connection whatever are acting as a parallel connection will have the resultant formula in series connection okay so this is what you have to understand and remember an inductor can be written as plus j x l ohms in ac quantities and capacitor can be written as minus j x c ohms and this also you can expand in a required manner this is plus j xl can be written as omega l ohms where xc can be written as minus j xl can be written as 1 by omega c ohms all are in ohms this is how we are performing the this is how we are now we are clear about how to solve the problems related with inductor and capacitor with respect to series connection parallel connection with respect to series connection and parallel connection which are very very much important if you find the video is very useful please 
like the video and share the video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching so hope the content what you require in the case of inductive capacitors delivered so thank you everyone for reaching for watching the video thank you